A pair of US Air Force F-15 fighter jets roar into the sky over the southern Japanese island of Okinawa. For over 70 years, this has been America's unsinkable aircraft carrier in Asia. I'm now standing on the southwest coast of Okinawa, and this beside me here is the East China Sea. If we take the drone up... That, off to the west there, is the giant Kadena Air Base the largest U.S. Air Force facility in the Western Pacific. Japan shelters under the U.S. nuclear umbrella. If Japan is attacked, these U.S. aircraft and their pilots will fight to protect it. But now Donald Trump has thrown all that into doubt with speeches like this one. A treaty with Japan that if the United States gets attacked, think of this, if the United States gets attacked, they don't have to do anything. They can watch it on, on television. Watch Trump's it on threats television. to pull troops out of Japan or force Tokyo to pay more for them have shaken but Japan's watch America watchers. Television, right? If they get attacked, we have to come to their aid, World War III or whatever the hell happens, right? It's certainly volatile, but it's up to every partner. Kazuhiko Togo is a veteran diplomat and grandson of the man who signed Japan's declaration of war against America 75 years ago. Election of, uh, of uh, Trump is this culmination and finalization of uh, Me First era. Because, uh, as we all know, uh, Trump's most important message during the election was America first. Trump began to criticize Japan that, that Japan is not doing anything. But now we can say, hey, wait a minute, Mr. President, the world has changed. You might have not noticed, but two years ago, we changed our position. Now we may be able to, 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 to join you fighting when you are attacked. Japan has a very modern, powerful military. Until two years ago, these ships were banned from fighting abroad or even defending their American allies. But as Professor Togo says, that is changing. Not because of Mr. Trump, because of China. Japan's security position, security situation has entirely changed. I mean, this I'm, I'm saying not, not with a view to blame China, but this is a reality. Our fundamental for defense foreign policy is, is number one China, number two China, number three China. This is why. This is a Chinese boat ramming a Japanese Coast Guard ship inside Japanese controlled waters. China is aggressively pushing its claim to these Japanese-controlled islands in the East China Sea. In August, 130 Chinese vessels intruded en masse into waters close to the islands. The challenge from China makes the US alliance more important than ever. But today's Pearl Harbor anniversary is a reminder it is an alliance of once bitter enemies. And 75 years on, there is still little agreement about what happened on December 7th, 1941. In America, the attack on Pearl Harbor is seen as a clear, unambiguous crime. But here in Japan, it's viewed very differently. This is the grave of Hideki Tojo, the man who led Japan through the war and who ordered that attack on Pearl Harbor. After the war, he was hanged by the Americans. But many here have never accepted the verdict that Tojo was a criminal. <laughs> One of them is Naoki Hyakuta, a hugely popular right-wing novelist. Roosevelt wanted to start a war. He used the attack on Pearl Harbor as his chance. He roused Americans, telling them, remember Pearl Harbor. I think the Americans exaggerated the attack in order to execute the war. This is a scene from Mr. Hyakuta's 2013 film, Eternal Zero. The hero is a young kamikaze pilot who plunges his aircraft into a US Navy carrier. Mr. Hyakuta wants Japanese to stand up for themselves again, and he sees Mr. Trump as an opportunity. Japanese never think about defending themselves, but because of Trump, we have to think seriously now. 
I'm an admirer of Britain. During the Falklands War, when her ministers opposed going to war over a small island, Mrs Thatcher said, am I the only man in this room? This is when British people realised how important it is to defend your own territory. From Beijing to Pyongyang, and now even Tokyo, military budgets are growing, nationalist sentiments rising. For now, America's military might continues to keep rival ambitions in check. But with Mr. Trump in the White House, for how much longer?